Today, I am going to discuss the characters, themes, background, settings, and summary of the novel. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bront. Major character. 1. Jane Eyre, the novel's protagonist and narrator. Jane Eyre is an orphaned young woman with a strong sense of independence, intelligence, and integrity. Despite facing adversity, she remains resilient and fights for her own happiness and moral principles. 2. Edward Rochester, a brooding and complex man, Rochester is the master of Thornfield Hall and Jane's employer. He is haunted by a dark secret from his past and eventually falls in love with Jane. 3. Bertha Mason, Rochester's first wife, who is kept hidden in Thornfield Hall due to her mental instability. Bertha's existence poses a significant obstacle to Jane and Rochester's relationship. 4. St. John Rivers, a clergyman who assists Jane when she is in need. He is driven by duty and religious fervor but lacks passion and emotional connection. Themes 1. Love and Independence Jane Eyre explores the tension between the desire for love and the need for personal autonomy. Jane seeks love, but she refuses to compromise her independence and self-respect. 2. Social Class and Gender Inequality the novel delves into the limitations and expectations placed on individuals based on their social class and gender. Jane challenges these conventions, advocating for her own rights and equality. 3. Morality and Ethics The story raises questions about moral integrity and ethical choices. Characters are confronted with dilemmas that test their principles and challenge societal norms. 4. Religion and Spirituality Religious beliefs and their impact on characters' lives are significant in Jane Eyre. The novel explores the conflicts between religious duty, personal faith, and individual desires. Background Jane Eyre is set in the early 19th century in England. It reflects the social and cultural context of Victorian society, characterized by rigid class distinctions, limited opportunities for women, and prevailing religious beliefs. Settings 1. Gateshead Hall, Jane's childhood home, where she lives with her cruel aunt and cousins after the death of her parents. 2. Lowood Institution, a harsh boarding school where Jane is sent, known for its strict discipline and meager living conditions. 3. Thornfield Hall, the grand estate where Jane becomes a governess. It is here that she meets and falls in love with Edward Rochester. 4. Moore House, the home of the reverse siblings, where Jane finds refuge and discovers her family ties. Summary In Jane Eyre, the protagonist, Jane Eyre, is an orphaned young woman who endures a challenging and oppressive upbringing. The novel begins with Jane living with her unloving aunt and cruel cousins at Gateshead Hall where she is subjected to mistreatment and isolation. Despite the hardships she faces, Jane maintains her strong sense of self and resilience. Jane is then sent to Lowood Institution, a harsh boarding school for orphans. Here, she endures strict discipline, sparse living conditions, and the loss of her close friend, Helen Burns. However, she also receives an education and forms deep friendships with some of the teachers and students. Upon leaving Lowood as a young woman, Jane takes a position as a governess at Thornfield Hall, the grand estate of the brooding and mysterious Mr. Rochester. Jane finds herself drawing to Rochester's enigmatic personality and becomes deeply involved with him, eventually falling in love. However, their relationship faces significant obstacles when Jane discovers that Rochester is already married to Bertha Mason, a mentally unstable woman kept hidden in the attic. Refusing to compromise her moral principles and integrity, Jane makes the painful decision to leave Thornfield Hall. She finds solace with the reverse siblings, Street, John, Diana, and Mary, at Moore House. Jane discovers that she is related to the reverse family and gradually gains a sense of belonging and purpose. 
Saint John, a clergyman driven by duty, proposes to Jane, seeking a marriage based on a shared mission rather than love. Despite her deep respect for Saint John, Jane realizes that she cannot deny her true desires and rejects his proposal. Driven by her love for Rochester, Jane decides to return to Thornfield Hall only to find it in ruins. She learns that a fire started by Bertha destroyed the house, leaving Rochester blind and maimed. Jane's unwavering devotion to Rochester prevails as she chooses to marry him, accepting him despite his physical and emotional scars. The novel ends with Jane and Rochester finding happiness and contentment in their marriage, highlighting the themes of love, forgiveness, and the pursuit of personal growth. Jane Eyre is not only a story of a woman's journey towards self-discovery and independence, but also a reflection on societal expectations, morality, and the triumph of love over adversity.